Hello, welcome back again to another video. I've been away for almost a month and now I'm back again so expect more tutorials coming up. To begin, we'll look at 7 tips that will enable us to quickly edit our videos in Caden Live. So let's get started. Number 1. Importing videos into the project bin. To do that, first we're going to use the media browser. To activate the media browser, come to view and you can see the media browser here. Click that and now you can be able to browse through your media and you can be able to simply select the media that you want to import into the project bin. So to import into project bin, simply click that and drag it into the project bin. Number two, we're going to look at how to enable the rotoscoping mask. To enable the rotoscoping mask, first you have to bring in your clip into the one that you want to mask it out into the timeline and then go to the effects panel in the Alpha Mast and King, apply the rotoscoping mast. And now when you select this, and now you have the properties of the rotoscoping mast here, but you see that it's not active. To enable it, simply come here and you can see this little button here, so edit mode. Click that and now you can see the yellow border. You are enabling the rotoscoping mast. So what you need to do, you can now apply the rotoscoping mast or mast out the clip or the part that you want to mast out from your clip. And you can apply any effects to it and once you have that you can go back again to alpha mast and king and apply the must apply and now we just apply the effects only to the one that we must it out number two shortcut for render hold down control and enter and you bring this uh, render window up here and now you can select the preset that you want to render your clip in you can also install the custom preset by coming up here and then click on the download icon here and it will load some preset that are uh, being uploaded and now you can install any of these presets so you can be able to use them. Once you install them, it will appear on the custom profile. So if you select this, you can see that I have already installed this so it's appeared under the custom profile. The next one is to create the transparent alpha clip. To do that, you have to mask out whatever part that you want to mask it out. For example, this little uh, clip here, we've already masked out this uh, flower here. So I just have to delete the effects that we applied to it. So it goes back to the original clip. So once we have that, now we can export this. So Control and Enter or Return and uh, you can export this. But to export that, you can export it under Video with Alpha. So you can export it uh, MOV or Alpha V8, Alpha V9 or I have installed this uh, ProRest here so I want to export under this because it's under the custom uh, profile that I installed it. So let's go to Render to File. So it's finished render now so let's go back to the project bin. Let's go to the review and using the media browser we can import in the render file that we just render so this is the render file that i just uh, render into so let's drag this into the project bin and now let's uh, drag this uh, in here first and now let's uh, drag this uh, alpha file in here so when we place the playhead here you can see that uh, the transparent background the next example is to add the luma effect and the transitions between the two clips. So usually we come to the composition and then we select any of these, whether dissolve and we apply to. And you can see that when we have this little uh, red uh, line here, we release that and we apply this nice uh, transparent transition to our clip. Now there's a shortcut that you can do that. So let's just delete this first. And now to do to apply using the shortcut, simply select the clip that you want to apply the Luma Mef to it and then come up here and you can see it says mix clip. Simply click that and you apply that and it does the same thing when we use the uh, composition effect here to apply to it. The next example is insert clip zone. So let's select our clip here, come to the clip monitor here and then you can see the insert clip zone here in set in and set out. So let's just bring our slider or you can play and see where you want to insert in and then uh, add the clip zone in and then play and see where you want to insert it and then uh, add the clip uh, zone out. 
and once you have that now you come down here and you can see the little button here and insert clip zone into the timeline so i'm going to insert this part only into the timeline so now we're only inserting the part that we just at the in uh, in and out zone and the panel is to add the overlay borders to get the overlay borders uh, bring your mouse cursor to this corner here and you can see a switch pull screen and the next one is the change overlay so simply click that and you're adding the overlays to a border here this little blue or green uh, lines here so you click until the one that you want and you can apply that and that's it okay so that's the seven tips we can use to uh, make our editing quickly in Kaden Live. thank you for watching thank you to those who have subscribed to our channel and thank you very much see you back again in another video